unemployment insurance backlog has many still waiting for months and the extra $600 a week is set to expire. Many who are waiting on approval are now now worry they'll miss out entirely. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson looks into what's next. First, the state's unemployment insurance website kept crashing. Then people couldn't get through on the phones once they finally applied. Now many are waiting months, and it turns out the system was designed that way. I kind of thought it would take a week or two, um, not obviously you know, two plus months. A local salon owner wishing to stay anonymous says he had to close his business for 11 weeks. I think about a month and a half in, I started to get a little scared about where things were heading. A lot of people still waiting for their benefits like he is are scared and broke because of a controversial computer system, the subject of several lawsuits in recent years that was designed to be slow. The lieutenant governor says there was a system upgrade planned in March, but then the pandemic hit. If we were to stop everything to try to do a system upgrade, that would actually lead to more people being backed up. He says they've taken many steps to address these problems. Employed hundreds of additional staff people um, to be able to answer the phones, but more importantly than even answering the phones, to so being able to do the investigation on some of those claims that might need a little bit better attention. Meanwhile, the additional $600 a week expires this week. In August, benefits return to $362 a week maximum in Michigan, leaving many who've been waiting months worried and wondering. Am I going to be grandfathered in with the with the money that was there? I did get in touch with our state's unemployment office and they assure me that if you've already applied and are just waiting for approval, you will get back pay that includes that extra $600 a month through the end of July. Meanwhile, in Congress, there could still be a second version of the CARES Act approved. We'll continue to follow this for you and bring you the latest. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.